that. I don't think they don't put it on a Bithana. That's very close. I think it nipped back a little bit. That's what he's looking for. It wasn't far away. Well, I'm not sure what Clark's going to do. That uh, The clock is ticking. He better be quick. Well, I suspect that might have pitched outside leg, considering the angle that Copeland's bowling from. So, 10 seconds. Yes, he's got it in. He's got it in with a second to spare. I tell you what, he was about to get rubbed out there, Clark. They've, uh, they're going for it. And uh, I, I think it's going to be very close, actually. Let's have a look. That's OK. It's just where did it land? And I'm sure Copeland the rest appeal because it might have been going on to hit. Well, outside leg for me. Well, I don't think it pitched outside leg. I think I think it held up. I, it may be too high. It hit him on the roll. Let's have a look. There we are. You see, it's pitching middle and straightening down the line. Look, I, I, I got to say, I, th I said I thought this was very close, and I, I think it. Uh, now look, more than half the ball has got to be below the top of the bales. So uh, this is going to be the issue here. There it is, pitching on middle. Oh boy, I'm afraid to say it's all over. Oh yes, good appeal. They took their time. But uh, this is just about 50-50, or maybe not. Maybe it's 52-48, the ball's outside the middle of the stump, so it could still be umpire's call. Yes, it is. Alim Dars got this one right by, I think, about 2% or so the middle of the ball. That's ridiculous. It's just outside. That can't be umpire's call. That's not umpire's call. I want to know where the umpire's call comes in. I think that that was the uh, the instruction from upstairs, but I, I'm trying to work out where the umpire's call comes in. Come on, you explain. Well, the only suggestion I have, if we take a look at that again and zoom on it, uh, the Hawkeye suggests that a uh, bigger section of the ball was outside the stump. When we take a look at it from another angle, this is the one I'm talking about. Um, it shows when you zoom in that there's just a percentage or two that the center of the scene is outside leg stump, uh, off stump in that case. Well, I've got to say to you, I, I thought it applied to the outside of the stump. And if you take the outside of the stump, you look at the outside of the stump, there's more than half the ball. Now, if you're taking the middle of the stump, then it's uh, exactly half of the ball. That's well, out. It's just less than half, according to this picture. but. Of course, if it's outside of the stump, then it's well out. But if it's the only line I see is the... And uh, I think they're giving too much, too much to uh, the umpire at the moment. See, that for me is if you took the outside of the stump. Now, if you said to the, the outside of the stump was the line, then I'd accept it. Uh, and that more than half of the ball had to be from the outside of the stump. That'd be fine by me. But I mean, that's hitting the middle of leg stump. There's no doubt about that. I mean, part of, of off stump, part of the ball was actually hitting the middle stump. Well, maybe not, but we're certainly hitting off stump and the current rules will indicate that uh, he was not out by just a whisker. The impact has to be outside the line of the stumps or it has to miss the stumps. Pitching in line. I think this might be out because that one turned from uh, around the wicket. Uh, it has to miss the stumps completely to be turned over because this one looked to me it looked like that it's so ruko jara sabar karo bola dhakka bukki nahi kar it's going to go on and uh, hit the leg stump pitched in line maybe outside the line but hit him in line that's the key that's no problem pitched in line hit him in line it is going to go on and hit the stumps that's the key oh it's bounced over it i can't believe that it looked plumb to me but look at the bounce and then settled in the review that was taken and Ajmal was disappointed to see it bounce over and did not get that overturned plenty of reactions Close. 
Got to be close. Yes. Hit him on the full. Wagner again. The double bluff with all the fielders out. He's gone full. Now they're going to have a consultation about this one here. He's going to refer it as well. Ball tracking now, Nigel. Impact in line. Wicket's missing. Back to Nigel. Uh, the ball's missing, and uh, I'll get you to change your decision to not out. Thanks, man. Has anybody travelled that far? I know, I know. I, I, I'm with you on this one. I'll give him out. Well, you're hearing it first-hand, actually. From Nigel Long, and I've got to say, I'm with him on this. He can't believe that that is missing the stumps. He can't, and I can't either. Wow. I heard now Wigner say to Nigel Long, it was reversing back in, and he said, I agree, that's why I gave it out. <laughs> Ball tracking didn't show this. Keep a close eye, it starts to swing back in there. As far as I'm concerned, I think that's hitting middle. It's not missing off stump. From my naked eye, that's hitting middle stump. Well, tracking had it missing off stump as well, but the other side. <laughs> so you have it hitting middle, tracking has it just missing. Yeah, I find that very surprising. That, to me, was canning in the stumps. You look up at the first replay and you think, oh, you just start walking as a batsman. Well, that means it's going to go at right angles from the point that it hits, hits him. The only thing I'll say is that he did bowl from very wide out. Very, very wide.